Ladies and gentlemen, DC Awards. Sweet. <laughs> Good morning, DEF CON. I say that because probably half of you just got out of bed, didn't you? And the other half are going right back to bed once we've emptied the bottles. <laughs> Bye. We miss you. Thanks. All right. Well, welcome to the DEF CON Awards. Um, I am Russ. This is Jericho. And over here we have the invisible dark tangent. He was here year one and has been missing in action since. So if you see him in the hallways, tell him we're here. So let's talk a little bit about the, what the awards are, um, how it works. So first slide is why. Why did we do the DEF CON Awards? Right? Uh, we have people that sit around and complain or brag about accomplishments, things like that, and we wanted to recognize those things, but we wanted to be a little bit different. So it's important to note that we did not vote on this. All right? We get up here, we get to talk about it, but people in the community nominated all these um, individuals or organizations for the categories. We didn't vote. We had um, organizational input only. Um, and we do it so that you get recognition for uh, good things that you do when you kick ass and you get great recognition when you do really shitty stuff. And that's why we're here. Um, these are all public nominations. We open this up to the entire world. Uh, we've been getting steadily more and more nominations over the last few years that we've done this. We um, open it up via SurveyMonkey. Now, we made a mistake the first year and we actually tried to do voting. Did you try my glasses on? Yeah. Did it mess you up? Blind. Yeah. And deaf. <laughs> this should be fun. Um, we tried to take the uh, votes on SurveyMonkey as well and um, hackers do an amazing job of screwing with your numbers. So um, we do it a little differently now. Jericho bought a sound meter and we're going to do it here. You can actually vote. And if you happen to be one of the nominees and you're in the room and you win something and you want a shot, um, these five. or five, these bottles are unopened. You can crack the seal yourself if you want. I figure nobody's going to trust an already opened bottle of alcohol at DEF CON, right? Just forget the whole tamper evident contest. Yeah, exactly. Um, there is a board review. So it goes out. Everyone nominates everyone they want. Uh, Jericho and I will sit down with some other people and decide which ones are most relevant, which ones got the most votes, and which ones were just trolling us. And we'll remove all the trolls and that kind of stuff and bring you the absolute distilled best. And the public voting is done right here with the sound meter, like I said. Um, past years, um, we started this in 2011. It was a brainchild that has been slow to give birth simply because people would rather be dr drinking and hacking and breaking into stuff than sitting in here watching Jericho and I talk about this. Uh, it was originally called the DEF CON Awards which was slightly confusing since the closing ceremonies became the um, DEF CON Awards at some point when it started taking three and a half hours to close this conference down. So we renamed it to DEF CON Recognize Awards because we're trying to recognize people for either being douchebags or being awesome. Hi, Paul. <laughs> um, last two years, this was held on a Sunday and going to anything on Sunday after parties on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is probably not going to happen. So we had about a dozen people in the room the last couple of years. So Brian and I spent a lot of our time drinking on our own. Um, this year we moved it to Saturday. Everyone's awake, right? Not sober, but awake. Yeah, we're all awake. So, DEF CON 19, 2011, these were our categories. We had worst media coverage, we had most interesting malware, best privacy technology, best uh, open source software response to an attack or a method, best author or story that captures the hacker mindset, and then we had the security charlatan of the year. Now, as you know, Jericho, or may not know, if you don't know, it's sad. But um, Jericho does a blog and he does a lot of research and write ups on potential charlatans in the security community. And he's actually gotten a very big response. So we get a lot of input from other people around the industry, around the world that point people out that are doing a great job of trying to be something that they're not. And so that's, that was really one of the main premises of the awards was trying to get that information out so everyone would know 
um, who they could trust. And these were the winners. So, you know, we had Kingpin, the story by Kevin Paulson that won the uh, best author and story. And then we had Gregory Evans, if any of you remember him from a couple years ago, because he's still around, for Security Charlatan of the Year. Now, oddly, every year we've done this, nobody that has won a You're a Piece of Shit Award has come up and um, collected their award. So what we've done with those in the past is just um, Jericho's taken those out and auctioned them off and collected the money and given it to EFF, right? I think that was right. Or HFC, I forget. Yeah, yeah so, so uh, Hackers for Charity or EFF. So if a douchebag wins it, we still take the award out and uh, auction it off and get the money to somebody that needs it. And that was the first year where we actually had trophies. Yeah, we actually had trophies that year. This year you get inebriated. Yeah. Next year we'll have trophies again, I promise. All right, DEF CON 20, last year. Our categories, worst media person or outlet. This was for print. We separated out the media that year and it was a mess. So we had uh, worst media person or outlet for broadcast where we had no nominations at all. You all love Fox News apparently. Uh, I got two laughs from that. Everyone else is like, what's a television? Um, best privacy enhancing technology, Tor one, of course. Your best sec or hack Twitter feed, um, you're a non news, it's still very popular. Um, we renamed the next award. Um, this was, no offense was intended by this originally. Um, this was more of a European thing where we were calling somebody a ding dong. Um, but we've renamed this award this year to the Nitwit. Um, we have a Captain Obvious Award for last year that uh, General Alexander won and oddly here we are a year later and it's been proven. Um, we have the Security Charlatan of the Year uh, for last year was Ankit Fadia. So I'm going to hand it off to Jericho uh, to do what he does best and I'm going to interrupt and make fun of him and heckle him along with you as we go through these categories. So this is interactive. Please be involved. And uh, if you are in the room and you do want something and you either want to wash away the pain or share in the victory, um, please come up and have a shot or two. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, like he says, interactive. Feel free to heckle him. So real quick, the categories. Uh, best media coverage. This time we went back to any media, uh, best privacy enhancing tech since DEF CON 20. Notice that on a lot of these categories, we're not looking for the best in the world ever and some of the nominations we had to rule out because they were a lot older than some of you in the room. Uh, worst privacy enhancing tech, uh, best security or hacker feed, now the NITTWIT award, um, best DEF CON group project that was approved and that was a interesting, uh, we'll get to that anyway, sorry. Worst or most meaningless security buzzword? I'm sure we all know some of those. Uh, biggest law enforcement blunder since DEF CON 20 once again. And the security, security charlatan of the year. <clears throat> so, we'll start out with best media coverage. This is the only one where we'll really get to have some good visuals. There were quite a few nominations and by the way, the slides for this will be up on attrition.org uh, next week and it has the full list of nominations down in the notes below that you can't see on the screen. So you can look at our work and see which ones we decided to pick out of the list and put up and all that and call us out for it if you want, I don't care. So the nominees are Brian Krebs, uh, Glenn Greenwald, The Register, Security Week, RT.com and Kevin Polson. And actually it's the worst media coverage that we get the good visuals, not this one. So um, are any of these names new to anyone? Thank you. <laughs> okay. So based on that, let's see if I can make this damn thing work. Testing. Yeah, it's probably good. So one at a time, based on their work in the past year or so, which of these people do you think deserve the award? Brian Krebs? Sure, you can see it. 83.2. That was pretty loud. Okay, how about Glenn Greenwald and from uh, the Guardian.co.uk? <laughs> he can see. That's cool. What? What? <laughs> <clears throat> the Reg. <laughs> Is 
They didn't register at all. <laughs> yeah. it, it registered the same as me. <laughs> um, the one thing I will give the Reg though, they usually have some fun titles for all their articles. Even if the articles kind of limp, the, the titles are usually good. So. What? Yeah, Masters of the Unverified Single Source News Story. <laughs> okay, so how about Security Week? <laughs> Apparently I was a little less loud on that one. They didn't even <laughs> register as much as the last. <laughs> Uh, RT.com specifically for their Snowden coverage. And then last we have uh, some guy named Kevin Polson. I think he's been in the scene for a year or two. Uh, yeah, he probably did some time. I don't know. Uh, his work at Wired and this one was actually submitted by the guy that just told you we didn't vote. Anyway, yeah, someone's got a drink. So anyway, Kevin Polson. Weasel, you don't clap very loud. He wasn't last. Okay, so based on that, RT.com. Yay. Is there anyone here from RT.com? Maddox like not me. No. He runs up with a camera. I mean, come on. I've got to assume you're with RT.com now. You got to take a shot. I can be with RT.com. You for the next 5 minutes, you're with RT.com if you'd like a shot. Yeah. <laughs> and and you can take a picture if you take a shot. Now while he's uh, figuring out the tamper evidence seal over there, we'll go to the worst media coverage of hackers and this is the one where we have some fun visuals. So the nominees are from Read Right, their uh, article titled World War Three. Uh, actually we'll just go one at a time. So there we go. That's the visual we got with the article and if you want to take a minute to read that top paragraph. Every day the Pentagon has attacked three million times and that's kind of amusing because Weasel, was that 95 or 96 we got the article about the Pentagon being attacked 250,000 times? Yeah, and because they were counting ping. Yeah, okay. So anyway, we have that good visual that, you know, World War III is right here and we're already losing. Hey, I said you get a shot. Oh yeah, solidarity. I'm good at something. <laughs> okay, so next up we have uh, Marie Claire when geeks attack. So uh, look at that picture. Those are apparently programmers. <laughs> Can anyone tell the difference between that and a DEF CON crowd? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's females in that picture and there's no females at DEF CON, right? Yeah, good call. You want to take a sip so that you're more coherent? Next we have Meet the Press. Uh, this douchebag, <laughs> David Gregory, basically says, uh, Mr. Greenwald, shouldn't we be charging you with a crime for, you know, doing your job as a journalist and covering a story? And he actually grills him. It was uh, pretty embarrassing for Gregory. Uh, man, I failed. I didn't even put the YouTube link down in there. You'll have to Google it or something. I don't know. Uh, next, the Manichi? Yeah? My Nietzsche? Okay, yeah. Uh, NPA, so there's a little backstory to this one. Yeah, they, uh, they basically write an article and they didn't quite use the best wording so everyone thought that what they said was the law and that the law was going to do something and it ends up they didn't and by the time they issued the uh, retraction or apology, everyone was in a panic. So yeah, they really screwed the pooch on that one. Next we have InfoWorld, Confessions of a Cyber Warrior. This is a very recent one. I don't know. Yeah. Who's, who actually read this article? Who read this article and kept a straight face? Liar. 
Okay, yeah. So if you want a good, good laugh, grab a bottle, read this article. It's hilarious. What? Okay, so we're going to vote now. This time make some noise, bitches. Okay, read right, World War III. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Got triple digits on that one. Yeah. Marie Claire, when geeks attack. Good effort, sir. No. It's close. Good effort. Good effort. Meet the press, David Gregory. Huh, these two guys are still louder. Yeah. So this is this is revealing. Stack the vote. Stack the vote. Yeah. If any of you. <clears throat> If any of you are really uh, wanting to vote, yeah, come up closer and you have more influence. That's how this works. And uh, the only reason that someone's not stacking the vote is because he actually forgot his air horn. <laughs> <laughs> By who? Yeah. Cite your source. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the Mainichi and the correction. Yeah, that was limp. <laughs> InfoWorld, Confessions of a Cyber Warrior. That's not bad for the back of the room. Yeah, who was that making most of the noise back there? Come on, one of you raise your hands. Who made all that noise back there? The, the harbor seal back there? Okay, so the winner, uh, thanks to these two fine gentlemen, is Read Right and World War III, which we are losing. It was in the print, it's fact. Yeah, so. Best privacy, did I skip one? No, okay. Best privacy enhancing technology since DEF CON 20. We actually had, uh, I think we had more than that. Yeah, we had a lot of nominations, but only four of them count. Uh, so, Ghostry, anyone use that? One user. You better be loud. Disconnect two. Any users? Nice. Does anyone here care about privacy? No? Okay. Yeah. Twitter two factor authentication. Anyone actually use that on Twitter? Wow. Two people and we wouldn't want to hack your accounts anyway? Come on. Dude, we doubled it. We did double it from the previous categories. It did. Yeah, okay. So, and who uses a uh, onion pie? <laughs> this is completely random now, isn't it? The NSA thinks all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Just as a note, um, I want to point out that the reason the other products did not make it on the list are that they are not recent or new since DEF CON 20. And that's really the key. Yeah, we need things that are new over the last 12, Russ, 14 months is kind of what we're... Use the microphone. It's not on. It is Nile. <laughs> what he said. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, since DEF CON 20, thank you esteemed yeah. hat. Okay. So, ghostery. See, this is going to be fun because none of, you, none of you people know what any of this shit does. And they don't care. care. <laughs> See, next time you need to nominate whatever crappy tool you're using for privacy, you know, paper and pencil, something. Microsoft Word. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that zip encryption is pretty strong. I love Jason Scott. <laughs> yeah. Disconnect too. Yeah. Woo! Et cetera. <laughs> oh yeah. It's gonna be 
Disconnect 2 is some hot shit based on that vote. <laughs> Twitter two-factor authentication. Come on, two of you. Oh, none of that little UK golf clap. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> they had the most supporters in the room and is not winning. You guys limbered up. You ready? Yeah, they're getting ready. <clears throat> Okay, onion pie. <laughs> that was a noble effort, wild charging bear. <laughs> that's, that's officially the highest number we've ever seen in three years. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, which of you critics was all bitching and whining like a a whore about the, the unscientific process we use? I heard it from right here, huh? It's very scientific, it's not statistically relevant. Yeah. <laughs> Neither but is we, the rest of our industry. <laughs> yes. And yeah. we have alcohol. So anyway, we give you people many ways to influence this. We use SurveyMonkey. We let you come here and make noise, run up, late the damn thing if you want. Mm -hmm. So if you want someone to win, next year you have some good guidance. Was Ari Airhorn. Okay, so the winner on that one was the onion pie because of the esteemed gentleman down here. Uh, since you are obviously users, I, I think you need to come up and partake. Designated drinker, two shots. Two shots. Good man. <clears throat> Worst privacy enhancing technology since DEF CON 20. Oh, God. <laughs> Newly disclosed. <laughs> Newly disclosed. <laughs> it, it may be old, but it's got a new name. Yeah. It's got a fancy new PowerPoint, I hear. So the first one is Prism. If anyone's ever heard of Prism, yeah, okay. Yeah, good stuff. Cypher Cloud, and these are the reasons we were given. I've never heard of this tool until the nomination. Bogus security claims abusing DMCA as a defense. That's interesting. I'll have to look into that one. Gmail, no reason given. I thought that was Prism. Prism Light. <laughs> and the last one is Wi Fi Sugar. Proof is in the website, which I haven't read either. Anyone use Wi Fi Sugar? Any Wi Fi Sugar developers? Get a better name, thank you. No. Wi Fi Sugar. <laughs> Give me some Wi Fi Sugar. <laughs> I can see a bad SNL skit off that. <laughs> okay, so. Can you move to the other side of the stage? So they have to Pr at least. Prism? Go for prism. Nope, nope. Rules say I have to have it. Nope, nope. <laughs> that was 10 less than you two actually making noise on your own. <laughs> Sir? Yes. Sirs, the fail panel was a few hours ago. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. <clears throat> Cypher Cloud. <laughs> if I can't be loud, I'll make the other fuckers be quiet. <laughs> it doesn't go backwards, people. <laughs> okay. Gmail. I actually think that was the most popular and it was actually quite nice. Uh, that, that was pretty swell and I, I think we're going to just discount these fuckers down here in favor of that. Used a microphone. Okay. So if you want to keep Prism. If you had brought your own microphone, that would be a different story. I like your style. What'd you end up on that? 89.5? Yeah. About 10 less. Yeah. And last, Wi-Fi sugar. Remember, it doesn't go backwards. 
Hey, some. <laughs> That's the lowest number we've had today. All right, so we have two. We have Prism. They'll be quiet. <laughs> and we have Gmail. And we had more energy on Gmail. So if you want to vote for Prism, use your voice right now. That's nice. All right. Gmail, go. I think you went backwards. Yeah. You, you didn't even meet your previous one. 90.3. Okay, so it's Prism. Is uh, General Alexander in the room to take this award? Shot, General. We didn't have to ask that question earlier. They knew. Yeah. Are there any feds to spot? No. So I, I heard that after his uh, black hat talk went swimmingly where people were calling out bullshit to interrupt him, uh, that he beelined straight for McCarran. Yeah. That was actually planned before his talk ever. No, the, the eggs got confiscated before they made it to the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and yes, that happened. <laughs> Brian sounds pissed. Jericho's like... I paid a lot of money for those eggs. Let the eggs through. Come on. <clears throat> okay, so now we're getting into the fun stuff. You didn't tell them who won. Prism. Hey, don't worry. They, yeah. they know they won. <clears throat> Where do you think this goes? <clears throat> so, best Twitter feed. IO error. Make some noise right now if you follow these people. IO error. Yeah. Moxie. You're in on news. Space Rogue. Um, you want them to make noise on the next. You know. Um, you know, it's really hard. I just recognized him without the blue hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I haven't seen you in forever. So I apologize. I'm sitting up here like, wow, who's the guy with the beard? I was going to say, now you're sporting the um, post office poster beard. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen me? <laughs> $20,000 reward. It, it's good to see you, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is the one time I think that I had moderator influence. The Hacker News was nominated. Um, they're plagiarists, so they're not going to win. End of story. And Hacker Huntress. Okay, other than Space Rogue, are any of you other nominees in the room? The anons, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 87% of the room is anonymous probably, so yeah. Okay. Um, so can we mix it up a little bit? How many of you have actually been in this community and following DEF CON for at least 10 years? All right, so not even half the room. So here's the thing. If you know Space Rogue <laughs> and, you and you followed the Hacker News Network in the day, they, uh, were, the, they were the... The Hacker News Network, HNN, is not, not the Hacker News. Right. right. This is a little lame wannabe ripoff. Yeah, so anyway. what I'm trying to do is draw... Uh, there's a line there. There was the original HNN, which was Space Rogue. And right, and now there is the uh, facsimile of such, which is kind of like candy cane dipped in bird shit. And so, um, yeah. Someone's going to win the arbitrary insult award. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to draw that line. If, if you've been around for 10 years, it's not the same HNN. That's why. Okay. So now we're going to vote. <laughs> IO error. It's better than nothing. <laughs> no, it's not. Actually, it's not better than nothing. That was actually, I think, a little quieter than the idle room is. <laughs> Someone goes, oh, Sorry, damn. Jacob. <laughs> now, Moxie. I was 78-ish. I yeah. forgot to hit a button. User incompetence, my fault. Anyway. Your Anon News. Woo! 
Hey, don't laugh. It's winning right now. That's a urine competition. Urine. Someone's... We can have fun with this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Penis. <laughs> Back tick drop table. <laughs> we need an award for that. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Yeah, designated drinker, drink that. Okay. <laughs> He's our designated drinker for the stage, too. <clears throat> okay, and um, last, Hacker Huntress. Hey. You skipped this week. Oh. It was 85 yeah. six. Oh, I, I, somebody. No one important. Okay, fine. Space Rog. Yeah! Get on! <laughs> Get on. <clears throat> <laughs> so by popular vote, uh, the Hacker News went, no. <laughs> oh. No, we're going to make you come up here and drink since you won. Yay! <laughs> Are we close to end or did you guys get promised free shots? All of you that just came in? Free shots, yeah? Free sh well, your only chance of getting a free shot is to come down here and make noise when you're told to. So, real quick, uh, seriously, Space Rogue's been doing the, the hacker news for a long time. He would actually wake up at some obscene hour, and I know because I was up from the night before, and there's something you need to know about him that uh, my friend Carol and I, we would do editing for him. Carolyn Mino? No. no. Okay. Finley. Carol? Carolyn no, Finley. Yeah, yeah. So he has his own form of English called Space Ronics. And every morning he would write these great articles, <laughs> minus the. I don't want to say clever use, I want to say fisting of the English language. <laughs> But the content was there and that's what was important and that's why Carol would be up and I well, would wake up early and I would be up from the night before and we would actually take the time to edit his crap. So anyway, thank you very much Space Rogue. You've done a great thing for the community for a long time. <clears throat> so we just had the good, now we need the bad. I forgot to change the title of that one. <laughs> Drink, I know. <laughs> oh man. You don't get to designate that one either. That's purely on you. Yeah, if you want the free shots, you have to first come up here and make noise when you're told. Come sit down. Come help vote. There's a celebrity on the front row, too. Okay, so the uh, Knit Twit Award, because someone forgot to change the name on this slide. We're voting for the Twitter feed that is considered the worst. The first nominee is the Jester. Who follows the Jester? Uh, who, nice. vote, who nominated the jester? Just one person. Uh, was it anonymous? Uh, we only got IP addresses, and last I heard, they're a little untrustworthy. Yeah. Uh, number two, White Rabbit. Anyone follow him? It. Okay. There's a debate on the front row whether it has genitalia. Yeah. Third, Asher Research, anyone? No? Okay. Gregory D. Evans? I know most of you don't follow because his account's been locked for a long time because of me. Thank you. Yeah. And last, Ada Initiative. Hey, Val, you in the room? I want to talk to you about some dongle. Yeah. <laughs> You know, there's a certain irony that they're on the twit twat award. <laughs>
We did change that name, I swear. That's my that's my mistake. It is the Nitwit Award. I'll get in trouble for that. So okay, we got to speed this now. up a little bit too. Okay. So, the jester. Make noise if you think it's the worst Twitter feed. Woo! White Rabbit. Woo! <laughs> He's getting louder. <laughs> He's drinking more. You want more? Asherah Research. <laughs> I was wrong. You can't make it go backwards. Gregory Evans. White Rabbit thanks you. Everyone's still really confused about that one. Yeah. Ada Initiative. You said you couldn't rig the votes. Alcohol will rig anything at DEF CON. Sorry, that was a little muscle spasm, nothing else. And then the side little, uh, sorry, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, it was Ada. Ada Initiative, uh, Val or the other chick, and you want to come up here and we can discuss your financials that have been leaked out? No? Ouch. Anyone? Anyone? Yeah. You can have a shot too. Oh, yeah, a shot. Consensual shot. <laughs> Okay, fine. We'll send your award later. Um, I'm not going to spend time on this one. Best project by an approved DEF CON group. We had two nominees. One of them had like 87 votes and <laughs> the other one had one. So honey pot that can bite. Anyone involved in that? Anyone? It's free booze. Yeah. It's a DEF CON group something. I don't know. You're, you're supposed to be here. I want to risk it. Fuckers. You can lie. We don't have whiskey though. <laughs> okay, yeah. So anyway, that, that one was an obvious rigged vote, but hey, we'll give it to them because they're spirited. Congrats. Uh, worst security buzzword since DEF CON 20. I mean, it really took a hold of the news. <clears throat> so, remember, some of these were nominated. Drink! 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 It's, it's not mine. It's his. The laptop owner drinks. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go down these real quick. <coughs> APT. Buzzwords plural. Shut up. <laughs> no, how is it anything for security? Security community. Duh. Cloud. <laughs> yeah, that, that one we probably shouldn't have included. Okay, I'll give you that. Uh, CEH, that's Certified Ethical Hacker. <laughs> that's a respectable number off laughs. I'll make sure I tell uh, Jay Bavisi, head of the EC Council, about that one. No, I'm not. I'm not really missing it at all. Ada Initiative. I like that. Damn, you're loud. Okay. Anonymous. That's another one we probably should have dropped since. Yeah. Okay, we'll skip that one. Cyber. The irony, of course, is that all of you should be drinking for that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> China. <laughs> That's all you got? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and last, Snowden. <laughs> All right. So the award is cyber and we're all losers for that one. Everyone drink. Okay, we got Yeah, we got we got 5 minutes so we got to really do this quick. Uh 
biggest law enforcement slash legal system blunder since DEF CON 20, uh, we're not going to take votes. We're going to call all of these the winner on that one and how law enforcement <laughs> fucked up in big ways. So real quick, unofficial awards, best con award show, the ponies. If you missed them at the black hat, catch the video. They're funny. We're not. Uh, most cleverest and funniest security Twitter feed, security humor. Really, really clever. Follow. Huh? Best book on freaking this year, Exploding the Phone. If any of you are inter interested in telephone and freaking history, get the book. Uh, Internet Hacker Security Historian of the Year, Jason Scott. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> By the way, if any of you use the internet, go donate to archive.org. If you have any old hacker stuff sitting in your closet, old paperwork, whatever, work with Jason to make sure it gets into the right hands. While many people ship stuff to him, he also makes sure it goes to the right places, certain museums or whatever initiatives that are uh, dedicated to collecting that information. Awesome work. Yes. And most prolific tweeter that was most desperate for an award. So last, how much time do we have? Two minutes? Three? Hey, goon. You have 15. Sorry, I'm reading your damn good slides. You have three minutes. Russ said 15. I like his answer. <laughs> I, I, I can roll it a little bit, brother. Who's going to pull somebody with free booze off the stage? I'll fight him. Okay. Come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Security Charlatan Award nominations. And once again, I did not nominate any of these, but I did note which ones I have uh, worked with my team to publish information on. So, first one is Ankit Fadia. Anyone know of him? Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Uh, what did he do this year? He gave the same presentation he's been giving for the past 13 years where he still uses uh, back orifice as his example for a remote access Trojan. <laughs> okay, so on that note, is anybody aside from Space Rogue here that was involved in any of the um, back orifice stuff? Because I'd like to give them a shot too. <laughs> Do we have Dildog in here or Death Veggie? Any of you loft bitches, get up here. <laughs> okay, uh, Rahul Tiagi. Anyone heard of him? He's kind of like a Fadia light. How about yeah, Kim.com Schmitz? So yeah, most of you have heard the news about him for the last few years and his antics and mega this and mega fuckwad and all that. Right, so he's got a long history before that of fraud and all kinds of other interesting stuff. Make sure you read up on that. Um, I do not know the story behind this one but it got votes. Fortinet Security. Okay, he just wants a shot. Yeah. Afterwards, if uh, you know why they should be nominated, please let me know. And same with this one, Chris Russo. Anyone? Anyone? Chris? Chris, are you in the room? Can I buy you a shot and get your secrets? Bottle? Okay. <clears throat> so, based on that, and I know it's a little blind because if you did your homework, you would have read about all these people in advance. So, Ankit Fadia. I got it. You saw it. This thing's complicated. It is, yeah. There's two by buttons. That, well, by that I mean that it's not easy to reset. Anyway. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Rahul Tiagi. Yeah. I'll, I'll make sure to mail him and say he sucked it at this award too. <laughs> Kim.com Schmitz. I don't care if he wins. Get another, get another shot and designate his shot. <laughs> Fortinet security. Yeah. Listen, people, if you're going to nominate someone, give us some details, some juicy dirt that I can spill on stage. Or at least show up so you can vote for him. Right, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, last, Chris Russo. This I wish we had a cricket soundtrack. <laughs> It'd be too loud. Okay, so we'll really test uh, 
your uh, your interest in the community just for fun. Also nominated but not on this list, Fernando Gaunt. Oh, nasty. Wow. Win! Background. You don't know. That that was intentional. I was just curious. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Kim dot com Schmitz is the winner of the Security Charlatan of the Award this year. <clears throat> So everyone, take this PowerPoint presentation, highlight his name and upload it to his mega service. Next year we'll have more nominations, we'll have different categories maybe, we will actually have trophies and more booze and hopefully we'll have more people. All of you that came in for the free shots, uh, DEF CON parties is ready to give them to you later tonight. Thank you. Bravo. Thanks guys.